I've got a pretty decent forecast for going back to Oahu from Honolulu Bay on Kauai. Uh, it's east 20, six foot swell, six foot wind waves, which isn't too bad for Hawaii. I'm just gonna give it a try. If it's too rough, I'll turn around and come back and wait for east or northeast 15, but yeah, I'll give it a go. Here at Honolulu Bay, I'm gonna get the mainsail up in calm water while I'm still in the bay, and then I should be able to set the wind vane up. Wind vane's that thing back there. I'm hoping this air vane works, the thing on the top, because I, I dropped a good one in the water, but I think this one still might work. It should work. If it sail up with two reefs in it so it's a little bit more than one half out. I'm gonna set the wind vane now while I'm still in this calm bay. Um, I don't want it to pop out of gear like it does sometimes when I put it put it in the water while it's still kind of rough so I'm doing it now. All right wind vane is set I'm gonna get the Genoa sail out. trying to go as much into the wind as I can because I'm trying to make as much east northeast progress as I can um, it's not too bad so far there's waves are pretty big but it's pretty much usual for Hawaii and yeah now I just gotta get comfortable and get ready for the long haul I guess right now I'm probably averaging I don't know maybe 3.4 knots I'm not going very fast but once I turn around to the corner after doing a few hours of this beating in the wind like I am now. It should go a lot faster, should be more comfortable, and yeah, well that's the goal. Feels like the waves calm down a little bit. I'm just hanging out in the cabin right now, trying to get out of the sun and eliminate the risk of falling off the boat. Uh, I've been looking at this little app with EIS. This shows shows all the little boats around Hawaii. So I can see there's two up there, a bunch on Honolulu, but it looks like the channel right here is pretty clear. That's where I'm going today and tomorrow. 
I'm gonna have to turn the engine on pretty soon to charge the batteries. Um, my solar, I don't think my solar panel works. And I can't run the generator, obviously, when I'm moving, so, yeah. I tacked and I'm headed straight at Haliva right now. Uh, conditions aren't very good. It's a little bit nasty out here, but uh, yeah, that's that. But now I'm leaking water. I don't know if you can see it on the floor there. There's water here, water over here. I have no idea where it's coming from. I'm gonna try to find that source now. I know it's not the big seacock, which would be the worst thing. So I'm hoping it's just a leak in the tow rail or a stanchion. But yeah. Okay, I found the leak. It's not really what I wanted to see. The water is coming right there out of the chain plate. Chain plate's what holds the shrouds, which hold the mast. Um, I don't know if it's damaged or what, but that's where it's coming from. You can see all that water down there. It's going from there to that little hole dripping out down here. So, I don't know. Well, the leak itself isn't really a big enough concern for me to need to do a fix right now. I'll eventually do a permanent fix, but yeah. Seas have been pretty nasty for the last few hours. Um, I'm, I'm almost getting to the east side of Kauai, like east side of Kauai to my starboard beam. Um, it's calmed down a little bit actually, which was not expected because there's south swell now too. But I guess I'm just doing this for the next 24 hours. It is 4 a.m. right now. I've been sailing all night. I actually got a little bit of sleep maybe 40 minutes or so total. There have been a few ships pa pa that have passed by, uh, but none none came close and I saw all of them. I've just been taking a little 20 minute break down in the bed. Conditions aren't too bad. It's not pleasant, but it's not miserable. Um, it's fine until you go directly into the wind and you just get a big slap and it sounds like a gunshot going off inside of the boat, but only happens every once in a while. Yeah, I'm about 40, 35 miles away from Cayenne Point now, which is the marker of the west side of Oahu, and yeah. I fit a big gale or something, a big squall. I think it was gusting to at least 30 for a while there. It's calmed down a tiny bit, but now I've actually got enough uh, northeasterly wind to aim somewhat close to western Oahu before it was just totally east almost southeast which was super irritating because it was set up to completely miss but I think it's a bit better now. Getting kind of beat up, but I don't know. Now my only goal is to get there before uh, dark tonight, so I don't want to do another night of this. Just been getting beat up by the ocean for the last three hours or so. I'm off of a kind of point now. I think pretty soon I'll be in the lee of the island, so the wind should calm down and the wave should calm down. But until then, just gonna sit here and wait. Check for ships every 20 minutes. I'm in the protection of the mountains now, so the waves and the wind have come down quite a bit. Um, now I've got more of a close reach instead of close haul to Pokai Bay. Should be pretty easy. I'm gonna let a little bit more sail out, try to go a bit faster, and yeah, it'll be good to be anchored. The wind died seconds after I said that, so now I'm just gonna motor sail to Pokai Bay. It's pretty close, only two hours or so. And of course, once I take the sails down, the wind picks up. Uh, I'm not gonna try to sail again, because then the wind will just die. But, yeah, I'm pretty close. This morning I'm anchored at Makua Bay. I'm about ready to pull anchor and head to Haleiwa on the north shore of Oahu. Um, should be a pretty short trip, maybe six hours or so. 
upwind, but it's in somewhat protected water, so it should be way more calm than my trip over here from Kauai. Looks like I'm about one and a half miles away from Kaina Point now. It's pretty light winds now, but I think once I get around that Kaina Point, it'll pick up a little bit and I'll be able to sail instead of motor sail. I've got the sails up. I'm actually making pretty good progress. I've hit seven knots a few times just sailing, which I think is maybe my best speed yet. So I'm calm water. I made it around Kayana Point very easily. Um, conditions were great for a while. I was going five to seven knots consistently. Healed over pretty much not at all. But now I am basically becalmed, going 1.5 knots. There's no wind, but either way, this is a lot better than getting beat up on the way back to Kauai like last video. I made it to Waimea Bay on the north shore of Oahu. Uh, the water is pretty clear here, so I'm gonna take the chance to scrub the bottom of the boat with a little rag and get some of the slime and barnacles that have accumulated. There's not too much, but it's good to clean it while it's still minor. The only places that really needed a scrubbing were where they put the straps on the haul-out machine. Um, so when they do that, they only let you let it sit for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, so it doesn't have quite enough time to dry properly, and it only had one coat of paint there instead of two, so that's why it gets worse there. Okay, now I'm leaving Waimea Bay for uh, Oliva. It's a quick sail, maybe an hour or so. It's 3.9 miles, so a little less than an hour. It should be easy, it's calm seas. Now I wanna sail, but there's really no wind yet, so I'm gonna motor sail until the wind picks up. I have to be there by nine-ish I'm going fishing with my friends so I don't want to miss that. I got some wind enough to sail. Uh, sails are flogging a little bit because it's only blowing maybe 12 knots and I'm going downwind but it's better than motoring for sure. I am to the channel markers of Hollywood Harbor so I took the sails down. I'm gonna motor in here and find a place to anchor. I think it's supposed to be about 12 feet in a super protected breakwater. So that's what I'm hoping for. Well, no luck fishing, but I think now I'm gonna try to go up this little river that's uh, just past where I'm anchored now. It's pretty shallow going in, but once I get up there, it should be zero knots of wind, a uh, little bit of current, but it's a cool spot. Chris is down at my friend that took me fishing and sailing. Um, supposedly you can just jump off the boat. You don't even need to dingy to the beach because it's so close. Yeah, it should be cool. I'm just right up on the beach right here. It's about half a foot of water off the bow. Maybe 
fall off the stern. I've got a stern anchor out. Main anchor's up there. I've got a line tied to that tree just in case the current of the river tries to take the stern down river. But yeah, coolest spot ever. I just jumped off the bow, don't even need the dinghy. I'm gonna go get food in a little bit because there's stores everywhere around here. It's awesome. Now I'm going to change the engine coolant. I'll show you inside that reservoir. It's sort of a gross brown color. It's supposed to be nice bright red like that. I'm not sure why they're different colors because this hose flows to that hole right there and I blew on it and air does come out when I blow so it's not clogged. But best I can do is just change the coolant up here. Just gotta drain it, uh, flush it with tap water, empty it a few times run the engine a little bit, maybe, and then fill it with coolant, and that should be all. Okay, I drained the original batch of coolant and dumped it into my little bad product can. Uh, now I have this system going on. I'm gonna run fresh water up through this funnel that I dump out of that jerry jug by uh, tipping it over. It'll funnel down to there, go into the engine, flush out the cooling system hopefully, and then drain right down into that little bowl thing down there. And I'll do that a bunch of times, and after it gets cleanish, I'll just run the engine on tap water, and then flush it once with coolant, or just, no, just empty out all the fresh water and then add coolant, and it should be good. Just left Haleiwa Harbor for Waimea Bay on the north shore of Oahu. Um, I, I got about three miles left to go. It's a pretty short trip. I'm gonna get the Genoa out now. I just have the main out. Um, should be a pretty quick, easy sail. A couple of hours ago, I left Waimea Bay on the north side of Oahu, over there, and I've been sailing for the past few hours. I just rounded Kaina Point, I'm going past that now. So now I'm headed down the west side of the island, and I'm gonna see how far I can get today, because I'm trying to get to Honolulu before Tuesday, because there's a really good forecast for going to Molokai, Lanai, and Maui. So I just gotta get there before then, and um, I'm just gonna sail until sunset today. It's about, um, it's about noon and I'm just going to sail till sunset and see how far that gets me. I am now on the west side of Oahu, right by Makua Bay. Makua Bay is that little beach over there. It's a good anchorage. But I'm going to keep going because I want to get as far east as I can today. Or south, I guess. But um, conditions are really nice. I'm going four-ish knots. The wind's pretty light. There's no waves, so I'm not going to complain too much about the speed. Yeah, it's a really nice day. I've been sailing pretty slow for the past three or so hours, just hoping the wind picked up, but um, didn't ever, and now it's calmed down even more. I'm about three miles away from Electric Beach, where I'm going to spend the night tonight. 
it's the last point before Honolulu and then yeah I'm gonna drop the sails now and just motor I haven't ran the motor enough to burn all the carbon out of it which I need to do more often than I do and uh, I also don't want to take two hours to go somewhere that could take me 30 minutes so I'm gonna motor now and get there pretty soon I dropped the anchor here in about 35 feet of water. It's a little bit rolly, but not too bad. It's actually not as bad as I expected it to be. Um, I'm the only person here, at least right now. And it's a pretty nice spot. There's supposed to be really good snorkeling, but I'm gonna take off tomorrow morning before it's light enough to do that. So maybe another time. I spent the night last night. Now I'm gonna pull anchor and head to Honolulu. I think the trip will be about 30 miles, so maybe eight hours it's upwind so i'm gonna be going pretty slow but there's pretty good forecast so i'll see it might be better than i think the wind never really picked up like i thought it would so i've just been motor sailing which is okay because i'm gonna make it there about three times as fast as i would if i was trying to sail in these conditions I should be there in about two hours, maybe a bit less than two hours. Um, the other boats out here. There's the Coast Guard over there, and gigantic commercial ship over there. I thought I was gonna get boarded by the Coast Guard for a while. They came really close, and they were kind of acting funny, but I didn't hear anything on the radio, so I didn't stop. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going like this for the next two hours. So I gotta turn behind this ship because it's headed right, right at my path. Now the wind picked up a lot, maybe 20 knots, and um, I could sail, but I can't because there's this this whole area over here is like a gigantic restriction zone for the Pearl Harbor military base. So I can't turn in. I just gotta keep motoring like this for maybe another mile or so, and then I can turn and sail. to the channel of Kei Harbor. It's uh, a bit windy and I'm not that good at docking but I'll uh, gotta make it work. Just gotta figure out where to put all the lines to make it work with the wind single-handed. Um, but it should be fine. It's blowing off the dock so if anything I can just go around if I miss the first time. 